Hi, I'm Kirsten, and welcome to another edition of Art on the Floor. One of the things the Newark Museum of Art is most known for is the Ballantine House. It is the Victorian-style mansion of the Ballantine family, who are essentially Newark royalty in the late 1800s. In true Gilded Age fashion, the houses are neatly decorated and constructed. My favorite element of the house are the beautifully vibrant stained glass windows. There is a window in the library that was actually made by Tiffany and cost $6,000 in the 1800s. It's by far my favorite window. Today, we're gonna to be making our own stained glass windows, except we're not gonna to try to flaunt our wealth and our status. We're just gonna brighten up our day and our neighbor's days. Let's get started. To get started, you're going to need wax paper, a paintbrush, black acrylic paint, white paper, tape, a marker, school glue, and tissue paper. First, I'm going to tape down a piece of paper and then draw a design on top of it. I'm going to copy a flower I saw on the Ballantine window. One thing to keep in mind as you're drawing is that stained glass is not one solid sheet. This background here wouldn't all be blue. It would have to have lines going through it to reinforce the glass so every time you open and close the door, the door wouldn't shatter. Next, I'm going to get a piece of wax paper twice as long as my drawing and also tape it down. I mix some water with the glue to make a Mod Podge style adhesive. I'll use a brush to paint with the glue mixture over the wax paper, and then I'll place the ripped pieces of tissue paper on the wax paper. I find it helps to pre-rip the tissue paper before starting the project. Take some of your glue and water mixture, and you're gonna paint it all over the wax paper and then you can start to place your pieces on top. Following along the design I made, it's kind of like a paint by number, except instead of adding paint, I'm adding tissue paper. I found that putting a little bit of glue mixture on the wax paper, placing the tissue paper on top, and then brushing the mixture again over the top of the tissue paper was a good way to make it stick. As you can start to see, my darker pink is starting to overpower the yellow and bleed a little bit into it. That's okay. Paper towels are your best friends and you can always fix mistakes. And if not, work with it. Artists pivot all the time. I couldn't get the yellow to remain yellow, so instead I just worked with it and blended the yellow with the pink and turned it into orange. Now we're going to carefully add some glue mixture to the top of our tissue paper, being mindful not to go over the paper that we know will bleed, for instance, my pesky pink. Then we're going to fold the wax paper on top, encapsulating the tissue paper. If you like abstract art, you can leave it like this, or if you want to mimic the actual stained glass window process, you can now use paint. Turns out I'm not the best at drawing or painting, but that's okay. Art isn't about being the best. It's about doing what makes you happy and about what brings you joy. And the more you practice, the better you get. After you're done painting the black outline of your design, let it dry. When it's done drying, you can trim the excess wax paper and hang it in your window. See how the light shines through the tissue paper. Thanks again for watching. I'd love to see what you made. I'll be looking for you on Facebook and Instagram. Our handle is Newark Museum Art, and you can hashtag us, hashtag NMOA, hashtag NMOA at home, hashtag museum from home, hashtag art on the floor. I'm Kirsten, see you next time.